curiosity didn't kill the cat, it saved the cat in an instance of wisdom. Here's what I mean by that. This is an Uber Lyft story, episode number 37, I believe I'm at, episode number 37. A really nice woman gets in my car and she tells me that she's got uh, cancer and the tumor is shrinking, but as a result of the chemotherapy that she's using, the medical treatment to you know, get, hopefully get rid of the cancer, it's destroyed her immune system. She has a breathing mask on, she can't take any chances, she can't go to work anymore because there's other people there and she could get sick and die. So they're saving her from the cancer, but a common cold could kill her and she has to walk around with a breathing mask. So right now, priority number one is building up her immune system. So I'm taking her to the grocery store and, um, and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm telling her things like, yeah, I haven't been sick in over 12 years, not even a common cold. And of course, I'm telling her, gosh, I hope you beat the cancer. But when I said I haven't been sick in over 12 years, see, I said this because I wanted her to ask me because I might be able to share something that could help her out. And she was curious enough to dig deeper and ask questions. And the more answers I had, the more she wanted to talk. And she actually got out a pen and paper and started writing stuff down, including resources I was giving her, like Gerson.com, G-E-R-S-O-N.com, place number one, in my opinion, anybody should go to who has a cancer diagnosis, or if you know somebody, send them there to look at it, to at least check it out so they can make some kind of informed decision if they want to go down that path or not. So anyway, I start answering these questions for her and she's getting a lot of great information and I'm sort of listening to myself from a third person point of view and it's like, wow, all this learning I've done over the past 12 years, I feel like I actually know a few things that can save somebody's life, literally. So that was amazing. Um, I dropped her off and she was so grateful and so thankful and it's like, you know, whatever you decide to do, I hope you beat the cancer. I, and I hope that the next time I see you, if I see you again, you tell me that it's gone and your immune system is strong and healthy and you're feeling great. And she was so grateful for it. And so what a great story. Now, here's, here's the big lesson. So there's plenty of other instances. Sadly, um, this next example is far more common than the example of people that are curious. But what's more common is, you know, I'll say something like, um, Oh, I'll, I'll use two different examples. Like, I might listen to somebody talk about how they hate the system, they hate being a cog in the wheel, you know, they're working paycheck to paycheck, it's not fair, they don't like their job, or maybe they do like their job, but they just think the whole way that workers are compensated in this country and screwed with taxes and this and that, it's a scam, and I agree with them, it is a scam, that's why I don't want a job. But, you know, most people still have a job and they need their job, otherwise they can't uh, pay their bills and, and, and eat. So in a situation like that, I'll typically say something like, yeah, I, I know what you mean, I've been there. Thankfully, I haven't had a job uh, in 14 years now at the time of this video, depending on when you watch this. It's been many years since I last had a job, don't want one, don't need one, I'm really happy about that. And at the very least, they'll be like, yeah, way to go. But then there's no curiosity there. It's like, I just said something that would, um, that, that could lead down a path for them to make some discovery that could uh, remedy this problem that they're complaining about and bitching about so profusely. And most people are like, yeah, that's cool, that's nice, way, way to go, good for you, cool. And that's about it. And in my mind, every time that happens, I'm thinking, wow, if I was in their shoes, which I once was, I'd have been asking questions, I'd have been taking notes, and I did back then because I was curious. I needed to find a better way. Um, and so another example, I said to give you two. So here, here's another one. Anytime somebody you know brings up a sickness like cancer or you know diabetes or whatever let's use the cancer example because it just happened here in my car but somebody will say yeah my mom's got cancer or i've got cancer and we're all scared to death and we don't know how medical bills are going to be paid and and her hair is falling out and feeling sick and all these things and we just don't know what to do and and so i'll like one of my go-to's is my friend evita i'll just say yes it's, uh, cancer is a, a scary deal i First and foremost, I, I hope you beat it. I've got a really good friend, her name is Evita, and uh, she was told by her doctors that uh, this cancer was gonna kill her if she didn't get surgery immediately. And it was a, an aggressive form of uh, uh, uterine cancer, and the tumors were so thick that you couldn't even see her uterus anymore in a scan. And so she decided to go against her doctors, and she discovered uh, natural therapies and she actually beat the cancer with zero medical treatment, shrunk all the tumors. Uh, she went back and she was diagnosed and she was, she was clean. And guess what? Her immune system was sky high. 
unlike you know the really nice lady I had in my car. She might beat the cancer. It looks like the tumors are shrinking, but there's not. She has to walk around with a breathing mask, and she can't go to her job anymore because there's other people, and she could get sick. She has no immune system. A cold could kill her. My friend Avita, she beat the cancer with no medical treatment. She found natural therapy, good ones for this, and she beat the cancer. No surgery, no medical treatment, and. And her immune system is strong. It's incredible. So I could say something short and sweet like that to somebody that's just, you know, laying it out there about the scary cancer diagnosis with them or somebody in their family. And it's like, oh, that's cool. Good for her. And they have no questions about it. What? No curiosity at all. So that saying curiosity killed the cat, I suppose in some instances, like if you're curious what it would be like to look over a cliff too far, well, I guess that could kill you. But if your curiosity is driven by an eagerness to learn because you want to learn new information that you can put into action to solve a problem, save a life, accomplish a dream or a goal, then you have to be curious. And I've made videos in the past on the importance of curiosity. Like any person that's going to be a worthwhile, meaningful problem solver or any kind of an entrepreneur that wants to be a free human being and no longer a cog in the wheel of the, the status quo of ripping workers off left and right, whether you love your job or hate your job, um, financially, how you fit in the economy is you're a cog in the wheel of an establishment that wants obedient workers and they want to exploit you, and they are. So you have to be curious to get out of that nonsense and to solve those problems, uh, to accomplish a dream. If, God forbid, you get a cancer diagnosis or somebody in your family does, or diabetes or health problems in general, you have to be curious. If you want to learn and figure stuff out and accomplish dreams, you got to be curious Curiosity saved the cat. <laughs> lack of curiousness killed the cat. I would say a lack of curiosity kills far more people than curiosity does. Curiosity is the driver for people to want to uh, become more, grow as an individual, much less solve dire problems and achieve dreams. And what would happen in my car right now? I'm so proud of this woman because most people... After what I said about, yeah, I haven't been sick, not even a cold in 12 years or so. Most people would just be like, yeah, that's nice. Even if they're suffering from constantly being sick all the time, most people won't be curious enough to ask anything. And it blows my mind. So kudos to this really nice lady and kudos to all of you out there who are, who are curious and on that path. And kudos to those of you who might hear this message and draw a line in the sand and become curious with both feet hopping over that line. All right. So today's um, Lyft Uber ride story, episode number 37, turned out to be a big life lesson. Remember that curiosity saved the cat and the lack of curiosity kills far more people and destroys far more dreams than not. Mwah! Feel free to share this and drop your comments below. What are your thoughts on curiosity or lack of curiosity? And... My website is TomBerkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBerkenmeyer.com. I've got tons of content about all kinds of philosophical drivers and natural health and organic wealth. Bye for now.